Welcome back Wanderers. Today I would like to make a shout out to Polly's MRE Reviews. And Go things. check him out. I have another MRE today. It is the Menu 9 Beef Stew. It's got a peelable seal in the center. Here are the components. Hot beverage bag. Flameless ration heater. Hot sauce. Blackberry jam. MRE spoon. Grape beverage powder, no fruit juice. Multi-grain snack bread. Peanut butter. A fudge brownie. Pretzel nuggets. Our main entree, the beef stew, and a sleeve for that. What's in an MRE? Each MRE provides an average of 1,250 kilocalories. The percent of calories from protein is 13%, fat 35%, carbohydrates 52 This should settle a lot of questions about the calories in MREs because that question, I believe, is pretty common. Also, here's some information about what is protein, carbohydrate, and fat and what part of the MRE has the most of that. Here are the contents of this accessory pack. We have a damp climate match. These matches are great because they don't burn your hands. Toilet paper. Moist towelette, which can be used for your face or for hygiene. Cinnamon gum. Sugar. Genial coffee. Iodized salt. Dry non-dairy creamer. If you're going to use the FRH or flameless ration heater, I recommend you do so first before consuming anything as it gets that out the way. However, if you have a situation where you're lower on water and it's not cold outside, it may not be recommendable. It is not a good source of heat, but when you're definitely desperate, it may come as a last resort. I heard a reviewer talking about how it may be difficult for them to Put in two of these green bags at the same time. It may be recommendable to take this out Slip the other item in, then put this back inside in between them.
Obviously, I'm not going to heat this up. It was just for demonstration. Clean this against something for 5 to 15 minutes, whichever you prefer. And you can start with the rest of your meal while you're doing that. We have our coffee going in here. You can see there is a measure of the liquid on the bag and it may not be recommendable to use quite 8 ounces if you want a good flavor for the coffee. Coffee, creamer, and sugar are going in now. This has a nice aroma, a nice little bit of flavor to it. It has an interesting blue color. You would maybe expect a purple or red color or maybe even a green color although it is quite artificial it does have a definite sweetness to it it's got an interesting color it has a bit of sugar and energy to keep you going and keep you motivated time to get on to that main meal blackberry jam and peanut butter. This whole wheat bread gives it more of that grainy flavor to it, less of a sweetness or seasoned flavor, more simplistic, and that softness gives that feeling of bread while it's condensed to be more practical it's pretty good some pretzel nuggets these definitely have some flavor going for them they're pretty delicious try them with some sauce They're pretty good. That hot sauce really is hot. It's got a nice flavor. It is not for everyone. We have our dessert. This fudge brownie. Goes well with the coffee. Or by itself. has an artificial type of sweetened flavor to it. It's pretty condensed. It's very delicious chocolate brownie. It's definitely something that you could enjoy. Lastly, we have this beef stew. Lastly, we have this beef stew. It's got all the vegetables you need. It's of course gelled up, but that's typical for these. They have a little bit of moisture because they're not freeze dried. And it can make it more pleasant to eat. Also, it helps if you don't have water on you. You do have water content, at least in your food. Thank you guys for watching. 
let's reach 1000 subscribers by March.